Before I ran my first London Marathon, I'd actually experienced the other side of, of, of the road, I guess, um, working for the London Marathon. Um, it was about 12 years ago. I was, it was race day. Um, we, had the, we were in the office and they used to put up the telephone number if you wanted to enter next year's London Marathon. And I was working in the office and as soon as that number went on the TV, it was just non-stop phone calls picking up the phone, putting it down, picking up, putting it down, telling people information on the London Marathon. So since then I've worked part-time for them. Um, some years I wouldn't do it at all, other years I, I would be working. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, and this week I was actually working just the, the last Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I became an elite athlete today for, for a race on Sunday. <laughs> um, we changed a few things in training, myself and my coach. Um, just making, my, making the faster stuff um, a bit more of a priority. Uh, I think I struggled last year just with, uh, with the wind and, and things like that. It, it meant I pushed too hard early on and when you push too hard too soon in a marathon you're going to end up in trouble in the later stages and that's exactly what happened to me. So I think with, with the training I've done I'm definitely in good shape and I think with a, a sensible executed race plan it, it can go okay. The ultimate goal is to, is to make the Olympic team for Rio and I think uh, London will be one of those chances and then obviously a winter marathon uh, this year um, and that will qualify, hopefully I'll get the qualifying time for Rio. Um, so as I said it's just a stepping stone and I'm not looking for, for anything too special, I'm not looking to knock it out of the park, I'm just looking for a solid performance and you know, a step in the right direction.